Hi everybody, hope you're enjoying the uh, virtual rainbow summer camp. Um, I thought I'd do a little addition uh, to make a few, share to make a few things uh, primarily aimed at the younger people, but uh, I'm sure a few of the dads and lads will remember making uh, these things uh, when they were younger. Um, I'm talking about paper darts. These paper darts will fly well over 50 yards uh, just for the aid of an elastic band. Um, they are quite dangerous to be honest and um, they need to be used certainly not indoors and if it's younger people they need to be supervised because these will take an eye out. They are extremely fast and they will go a long long way. Um, very simple, it's a variation of an ordinary paper airplane just folded and folded to create a, a dart and they are very very rigid, very robust. Um, but I'll show you how to make them. I've been making these for over 50 years now and even uh, recently before I retired I used to make them work and I would uh, bet people I could make a paper aeroplane that I could fly over the factory roof and bet them a fiver <clears throat> and I'd always get a taker and I'd used to get a fiver every time because these things uh, clear a factory roof, no trouble at all. Anyway, to make them, simplicity itself, um, as with all paper folding, the better your folds are, the better the final product is. Uh, not that I'm into origami or anything like that, but um, they just they just fly better if they're better made. So to make them simply a sheet of A4 paper, but you can make them any size, but this seems to be an, a good size. Too, if you get them too big, they, they don't fly particularly well. So folded lengthways, classic paper aeroplane making, uh, fold into the center, on the point of the plane and then fold again. Again it's classic paper aeroplane making, certainly not rocket science. And just keep folding. It takes about three or four folds to get it to the right size because we're, we're trying to get it down to something as thin as that. These aren't gliders, which is where traditionally you'd have a much bigger wing. So, the more you fold, the trickier the folds become, particularly at the, the nose end of it where it gets quite bulky. So we've now got ourselves to uh, a very fine point, just a matter of three or four simple folds. And we're going to fold it completely in half now. So I'm folding the two sides together. So you should be left with a very long, thin dart with a long, pointed nose bit. And this is where we're going to do the work now. We're going to fold the nose back on itself about uh, an inch or so and then fold it again underneath and this is what forms the little nose cone for it. If you can actually see that it's folded up. <clears throat> Secure that with some sellotape. This is what forms where the elastic band is going to uh, hang on to. You might need to, or might prefer to just trim the end of that with a pair of scissors because you want it rel relatively aerodynamic, or that might be a bit uh, uh, fanciful. So we've now got, and all we need to do now is simply fold back to create the wings themselves. I should have used a coloured paper white, it's not the easiest to see this being done, but I think most people will be familiar with making a paper aeroplane. So we've now got a very thin dart with a nose cone on the end. I like to trim the back of the wings at a slight angle, just to make it, make it look a bit nicer really. <clears throat> Having done that, plastic on the front, 
pull it back and that is going to go easily 50 yards. Um, and I can't stress enough, you really, particularly with younger people, they mustn't point them at each other because it, they will take an eye out. Um, but there's lots of things you, the kids can do with them or that anybody can do with them. Um, you can write and if you can quite see in this light, little messages on it, not so good in this light. Um, <clears throat> you can send them to each other with little messages on. You can have stand either side of the field and just fire them backwards and forwards to each other. You can put a bucket in the middle of the field and just try and land them in the bucket. Um, so it's good fun, um, particularly if you make half a dozen of these because they soon get lost, particularly when, uh, when you, they, they go so far and so fast. You've got to keep an eye on them to see where they land. <clears throat> so, simple, bit of fun. Um, I'm going to do a follow-on video uh, showing throwing arrows. Again, some of the dads might remember making these as kids. Um, but these, again, will go 50 yards or more. Um, with the aid of a small piece of string, they act very much like um, like a slingshot, if you like. But um, have a look at the next video, and if it's appealing, you'll see how to make those as well. Very simple. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of uh, the rest of the virtual camp.